I'm at Paradise Point and we're doing an addition on the cabin. We're going to build a kitchen. We've got our piers already poured and uh, the metal caps and the wood caps on top, the treated wood. And we've got a full girder that we're going to set on top of the piers. We've got a, a four by eight and we're going to try to set this by hand. And if not, we'll have to use a tractor. But uh, we're going to add a kitchen on. We already have all of our framing lumber cut and stacked and ready to go. So this kitchen is it'll be 10 foot wide, so it'll be a 10 by 16 room with a shed roof and with board and batten siding on the outside, which will be a nice blend with the logs. And that's pretty much was a kind of a, I should say, maybe a standard way of doing things back in the old days. They'd build a log pen first and then add on to it as the family grew. I'm not used to having good help. <laughs> if I can see that. Okay. How are we doing? Okay. Well, looky there. That's kind of what we were pushing for, huh? Yeah, staggering those yeah. is a good idea. I don't remember who it was that brought that up in one of our videos in the comments, but that has been so helpful to stagger the height of those anchor rods. All right, there's one. We'll get it bolted down and secured the way we want it. We may have to just snug it down to where it'll hold. There it is right there. Oh, I bet you oh, you did good there. You tell me how much. You are good. Now you can let off of it. Let off a little? Yeah. Okay. okay I'm oh. Gonna... oh, this is perfect. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Wow. I like that. I have a line on the back side on top of the pier, and we're bringing our, our girder to that. Beautiful. That's there. We're right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just need to rock it that way with the cant hook. Rock it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. See if it holds. Hey, hey, hey. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Wasn't bad. That's good. Yeah. Down tight. Yes. <laughs> Pulled it out. Okay. Yeah. We're in good shape. Wow. Do you like it, Brother Wayne? He likes it. We 
pull that twist out too. Click, click. What we've done on this first joist is actually doubled because there will be a wall sitting on top of this and I wanted a little more support width wise under the wall instead of just the plywood and just a, a rim joist. I wanted to, to double that up and there will be a wall that goes across here for uh, a bathroom and I'll do the same thing there. I'll make a, a double joist for that because the wall will be going parallel with the floor joist and I want something uh, directly underneath that wall to support it. Okay, we've got our, uh, our center girder in. Uh, this will give the, the floor a little more support. This floor doesn't have to be quite as strong as the one we did on the, on the cabin part because we don't have a, the weight of a hoist rolling around on the floor, just be us walking. Uh, just a live load. So we are using a two by eight for a floor joist. They're full two inches thick and they're full two inches in the height. Uh, these were sawn on a band mill, so we were able to get what we wanted as far as the, the actual dimensions of the lumber. Uh, we've got a, a ribbon on the, the, the seal log and we've got a ledger. I'm, I'm putting a ledger on these like I did on the cabin on the log part, uh, the floor joist will be notched out two inches on the bottom side to sit on top of this ledger. And we'll run blocking in between each joist as we go down, which will help to, to strengthen it and to keep it uh, sitting vertically. So I've got to get after it now. I'm burning up daylight. All right, we've put the block in between the joist. And on this side, Brother Wayne is running screws into the, the ribbon. Like a toenail. 
You put one in the ledger. Then he'll take the framing gun and he'll shoot into the ends of that block. Now that's got that caught on that end and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, we've got all the floor joist in and we're getting ready to run a, a row of blocks down the center which will be right over the top of the girder where the uh, nail gun is leaning right up against the joist there and that'll keep all of our joists nice and straight and then we can put the plywood on so we've got five sheets of plywood it'll take all five of them to uh, put a subfloor on this and then we'll glue it and screw it and uh, put boiled linseed oil on top of it just soak it in really well we've got all the blocks down the center there they're nailed in good, everything's nice and tight. And we're ready now to put the subfloor down. We'll snap a line out four feet from the edge of this, this girder beam and put the first row on. Mm -hmm. 